What is up guys? I just dropped my SLX DC70 review video. We talked about a little bit of the differences between the 70 and the American version. And right now we're gonna be doing an SLX DC70 versus the SLX DC150 uh, comparison video. Um, I did do a little bit of comparison in the review of the SLX DC70. Um, I'm probably gonna be repeating a lot of the information. So if you guys wanna get a little refresher on what I talked about, make sure you go back and check out that video. Make sure you smash the like button on that video and this video. Let's get straight into the review. Okay, so basically, in my opinion, SLX DC70 versus SLX DC150. So you have a bigger spool on the 150 and obviously you have a smaller spool on the 70. So what that means is you're gonna have to be able to hold more line on the DC 150 and less line on the 70. So that really, for me, it comes down to applications that you want to use. If I'm gonna use something for frogging, I'm obviously going to be using the DC 150 because that bigger spool is gonna be able to help me hold um, higher pound test line, like 65 pound braid. This 70 is definitely not gonna be your real for using heavy braid like 65 pound because that spool is just going to fill up way too quickly you're not going to get a ton of yardage well in comparison if you're going to be doing something like texas rigging or small crank baiting small square bills that where you're using a lot lighter lures maybe jer especially jerk bait jerk baits um lighter jerk baits the 70 size spool because it is a lot smaller you're going to get a, a lot better casting and just control of your your bait and where you're going to be placing it so in that aspect the 70 is going to win so um for more finesse applications like jerk baits um small square bills even lighter texas rigs like sank or weightless sankos um the 70 is going to be your go-to for heavier applications you're want you're going to want to go with the dc 150. And so if I were to compare the internal settings of this, it's really just the DC-70 has a smaller spool. You're going to get a little bit better castability. It's going to be easier to control your bait. While the DC, although it is a 150 size spool, you still get great castability out of that DC breaking. Even though both of them do have the same breaking on the inside, it's really a spool that's going to make the difference. Now, besides that, you're going to get some cushy knobs on the American version versus some smaller, thinner knobs on the 70. And so that already kind of plays into that aspect where I'm probably gonna be using this reel for frogging if I'm gonna do heavy applications and the 70 for smaller applications like jerk baiting, small square bills. And I think something where you can cross over into both is say jig fishing. I mean, depending on what you're doing, um, if you're going to be skipping under docks, probably go with the 70. You're going to get a little bit better skipping out of the 70 than the 150. But at the same time, if you're bank fishing, like I do a lot of the times, there's really no difference in the breaking or um, really anything at all when you're fishing with something like a jig. Um, because already, already it's pr a pretty bulky profile. It's pretty big. But at the same time, it's not big enough like, say, a frog with 65-pound braid or um something like a really big deep diving crankbait where you're going to be casting off almost all of your line or a good portion of your line so a jig is really something that you can throw on either one it's really up to you um next up we're going to be comparing the price the dc 150 is available in america it goes for 190 dollars or 189.99 msrp um, you can find it at Dick's, Bass Pro, Cabela's, really any of your tackle shops. You can order it online. That's probably what I, can, I usually do because you can usually find discounts on that stuff. Um, while the DC-70 is only going to be available overseas, you have to order it from Japan and have it shipped over. And something that's going to play into that is shipping cost. Now, already the Japanese version of the SLX DC is going to be more expensive. The SLX DC 70 costs between 190 and 110, $120, depending on the site that you go to. Different sites, depending on how much you spend, might offer free shipping overseas, or you might have to pay for shipping. Typically, the cost is gonna balance out to around 210 to $220, including shipping. And so you're gonna to wanna to think about that. 
are you gonna are you willing to pay for an extra 20 or 30 dollars um to have the better castability from the dc 70 or are you gonna um stick with the 190 dollar cost with probably no shipping cost if you're ordering the slx dc 150 it's really up to you um I think it really just depends on what you're going to be using the reel for. If you're going to be frogging, definitely don't pick the DC-70. Go with the DC-150 or even a different reel. There are plenty of other reels that are great for frogging. But overall, it really comes down to cost in my opinion. Um, if I were to be more budget aware, I'd probably go with the DC-150. You still get great casting out of the DC braking. It's the exact same DC braking. The only thing that affects it is the spool size. So really, if I'm trying to stay budget friendly, I'm probably gonna go with the SLX DC 150 because it's gonna be probably 20 to $30 cheaper. And I can cast just about anything on this DC 150, even lighter applications because of that DC braking. You can cast it with ease. You just have to turn it up to one of the higher settings. Um, if you're trying to go for, I don't know, maybe a look, you can pick either one, um, but the castability on the DC-70 is definitely a lot better, but you're going to be paying a little bit more for that castability. It really comes down to what you prefer and what you like more. So that's it for this comparison video. In the end, I'm probably going to go with the SLX DC-70 because I'm not really going to be worried about that $20 to $30 difference. A lot of people might be more concerned about that difference but in the end it really just comes down to your opinion what you think i've given you all the information now you go guys go out pick one or leave me in the comments what you think is the better reel and i'll try to respond to as many comments as possible um, if you guys are new to the channel make sure you subscribe smash that like button this is my second youtube video ever so if you guys can give me a lot of support on this i'm going to be cranking out a ton of different uh videos out over the next few weeks um, before school starts. And yeah, I mean, you guys have a great day. Tight lines. Peace out.